So we're here in Deal Island working on the Skipjack Catherine as part of my maritime cultures class offered in the anthropology department at Washington College. The Catherine was built in 1901. It has an interesting design feature in the fact that it's planked longitudinally. So it's actually planked length, lengthwise instead of cross planked like a traditional Chesapeake dead rise workboat. The Catherine was uh, oystered for a number of years and it will go back to oystering as soon as we're done. So the owner is really looking forward to that. And it speaks to the viability potentially of the industry still, that people are still willing to make this investment in these old traditional style boats to actually participate in the sail dredging industry here in the Chesapeake. This is an experiential learning opportunity in my eyes for the students to get out and actually spend the day in one of the maritime communities that we've spent the semester talking about. So I think it's a really unique opportunity to actually kind of get hands-on experience in uh, a really unique working boatyard. This is where the remainder of the Chesapeake Bay Skipjack fleet harvests out of. Um, this Deal Island and Tillman Island are kind of the remaining centers of the oyster harvest. So it's been a cool opportunity to bring the students down here and see what many people aren't often exposed to in this idea of a real working waterfront um, dock, marina, boatyard, seafood processing plants, all that, that the average kind of tourist, the average waterfront visitor doesn't necessarily experience without having some sort of access to get them in. So that's kind of the idea behind the course in general, that we're kind of breaking the students into these communities, these subcultures that they may not necessarily have experience with. And we're trying to use our positions in the community, both with the students as professors, as well as kind of engaged uh, active participants in the communities to bridge that gap. Brian Palmer and I teamed up to create a final project that focuses on photography as well as a research paper. So what the students were tasked with was finding a topic that interests them, going out shooting the photos over the course of the year, and then combining them into a selection of five to seven photos that they are going to display at the new Sandbox Gallery in downtown Chestertown.